Hey, welcome to the LilaLovesHomes.com channel. Remember to like and subscribe this page. Get ready for the Speedo story. So when I say Speedo and me, it's an interesting picture. <laughs> Not one I want to see. So let me tell you a story. I was living in Vail, Colorado, and I was training for a triathlon. <coughs> a triathlon, you say? Yeah, me, tra tra training for a triathlon. So stop laughing, it is funny though. And I was really doing it. So I had to join a swim club, swim team, a massive swim program at the YMCA and I was swimming with ex-collegiate swimmers and me. <laughs> Bad combo. So I'm doing the breaststroke and my coach says, hey, guess what? There's gonna be a meet in Denver and we want you to come. We're really excited. Okay, great. But you have to go get a speed up. <laughs> I'm like, no way. Not happening. I'm not putting dental floss on. No, I'm not doing it. He says, well, go to the sports store and check it out. Because they have some mid-thigh Speedos that are a little bit more reasonable, not as revealing. I said, all right. So I go to this Vail sports store. Now, I'm out in Vail, Colorado. Very little hotsy totsy little place. Like, lots of money walking around the store. Mink coats. Lots of people with money. So I try this mid-thigh this mid Speedo. And I have a winter shirt on because it's winter. And it looks like I'm not wearing anything underneath the shirt. I look in the mirror and I go, dear Lord. No, it was awful on every level. Now I might have some body morbidness, morphedness, whatever you call that. I'm sure I don't see the true picture. So I say, I think I need a second opinion. This is the way the story goes, a little strange. So I walk out of this, the dressing room with a long shirt on. I do have Speedos on, but you can't see them. So I find this unassuming woman. I know, Christine was not impressed. I find this unassuming woman and says, Excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry to bother you, but I was wondering if you could give me a second opinion. <laughs> and she thought I was just a molester and said, I don't know what you're going to say next, but if you don't walk away right now, I'm calling the cops. <laughs> and I was like, no, really. I, I No, I'm, I'm out. I, I, I'm going to go. So I go into the, the dressing room. I change. I buy this little thing. And don't you know I'm standing next to her in line? And I said, uh, this is what I wanted to show you. <laughs> like, it literally looked like a washcloth. So, this the funny part of that story is, if you go to my family and ever, if you just say, "What's up with the speedo story?" All my kids will laugh, and my wife will be like, "Yeah, Larry, he's clueless. He's clueless. How do you go up to a stranger in a store and ask that question on every level? Wrong. Not good. All right, we'll talk again. Ciao."